Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumstheword.com and welcome to this free MIDI song drum lesson where I'm going to teach you the main parts from the song Interstate Love Song by Stone Temple Pilots, drummed by Eric Kretz. This song was suggested over on my Facebook page, so if you want to make your own song suggestions, then go over there to do so. And what I've got for you today are two pages of notation teaching you the main grooves, the intro riff groove, um, the verse groove and then the chorus groove as well and for each of these drum beats what I've got is a simplified version as well so we can talk about how a beginner or intermediate drummer could have a go at these drum beats and how you can sort of build up to the level that Eric plays. You can find a link for this notation beneath this video so make sure you have, you've got it downloaded out in front of you as we go through this lesson together. Okay so the first drum beat occurs at 17 seconds into the song it's the main riff um, drum beat um, and uh, what we've got here is um, a, a rather interesting groove with ghost notes and drags and hi-hats. I'll just take you through beat by beat. So what Eric does a lot is he likes to drag his, his ghost notes. What I mean by drag a ghost note is a, it's a quiet note but you're playing two notes. So in this case for beat one we get one E and a. Uh. He drags that, doubles that into, uh, uh, on the E of beat one. One E and a. Uh. So all the notes written in brackets are the ghost notes and they're supposed to be played quietly. They will be played naturally quietly if you're doubling them, but you mustn't make them too loud otherwise it takes away from the drum beats. You sort of, I'll show you what I mean for beat two. For beat one though, back to beat one. One E and uh, make sure they're played quietly. One E and uh. Then for beat two we get two E and uh. Now, now if you play that snare drum too loudly it won't sound like the drum beat. Don't play two E and uh. Two E and uh, it won't sound like the drum beat. So with any of these ghost notes, make sure you can play them quietly or leave them out completely as we go over in the simplified versions in a moment. Two E and uh, two E and uh. Then for beat three, we get three E and into an open hi hat there, doubled on the E. Three E and uh, closes on beat four, and we get four E and uh, four E and uh. And when we loop it round, notice we get two drag notes in a row, the uh of four and the e of one when we loop it round. So let's play the whole bar slowly. One e and a, uh, two e and a, uh, three e and four e and a, uh, one e and a, uh, two e and a, uh, three e and four e and a. Uh. And a bit, oh, the same speed without me talking over the top. Faster. Lovely drum beat, really good fun to play that. And let's finally hear it up to speed without the microphone on so you can hear just the drums. Here we go. And then briefly for each, for each drum beat, I want to show you a simplified version. So this is exactly the same as what we just played, except there's no ghost notes or drags. I've kept the open hi-hat in on the and of beat three, but apart from that, um, it's uh, there's no ghosts or, or, or doubles. The bass drum is exactly the same. We just got the snare drum focusing on the back beat on beat two and four. So we get this. One and a uh, two and a uh, three and four E and one and a uh, two and a three and four E and one and a two and a three and four E and one a two and a three and four E and Now some might consider that not to be as simple as you could go because we've got doubles with the bass drum there, we've got um, bass drums falling in between the hi-hats in interesting places, but take it slowly, it's worth, worth your time learning these kind of drum beats where we've got syncopated bass drum patterns moving around a solid snare drum bat beat on two and four. Lots of songs feature these bass drum patterns moving around the, the two and four. And then when you're comfortable with that, you can then start adding in the ghost notes as I showed you for the original actual drum beat. Okay, let's go on to the next one now. This is the uh, verse drum beat. Very similar to the main riff. Uh, I'll just take you through beat by beat. We get one E and a. Uh, 
one E and a uh, little double there on the E, and then two E and a, uh, another little ghost note echo after the two, two E and a, uh, and then three E and, exactly the same as our previous drum beat, three E and, and the same for beat four as well, four E and a, uh, and when we loop it round, we're gonna get those two doubles in a row. So slowly, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and, four E and a, uh, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and, four E and a, uh, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and, four E and a, uh, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and, four E and. And let's hear that played up to speed properly. So same idea with the simplified version, I've just taken out all the doubles, the drags and the ghost notes, but I've kept in the bass drum pattern and the open hi-hat on the and the beat three. So we get this, one and a two and a three and four E and one and a two and a three and four E and one and a two a three and four E and one and a two a three and four E and one and a two a three. Notice there's a cool pattern going on there with the bass drum, starting around the uh of beat two, where we get the bass drum playing every third sixteenth note. It goes across the bar in a really cool, uh, interesting way. We get one and two and a three and four e and a one and a two a three and four e and a one. In fact, it goes and continues into the uh of beat one as well. So listen, to, listen for the bass drum how it's sort of evenly spaced. It's hot today. Okay, let's go into the next drum beat, which is uh, on page two. It's our chorus drum beat, and Eric moves up to the ride cymbal for this. Probably the most, uh, well it is, it's the most varied drum beat compared to the previous two. We get a kind of a, a unique drum beat here. It starts off very simply, one and, then beat two, two E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, beat three, Three E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, then beat four, four E and a. Uh. And when we loop it, we don't get that little ghost note on the E of one. So slowly the whole line, one and two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one and two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one and two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one and two a, uh, three E and a. Uh, Lovely fun, lovely fun to play that. Lovely fun? We'll go with that. It's lovely fun to play that. Okay, let's hear it up to speed now. So then finally the simplified drum beat and I decided to keep in um, the uh, ghost notes on the E of three and the uh of four but not drag them. So showing you a variation of the simplified drum beat taking sort of play coming close to the original drum beat but not having to drag them or double them if you find that easier. So this drum beat sounds like this. One and two and uh, the E and uh, four E and uh, a bit slower. One and two, uh, three E and a. Uh, Four E and a uh. one and two a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a uh, one and two a uh, three E and a uh, four E. I think I, I kept those ghost notes in because I think they add something to the groove that's kind of important for the chorus drum beat. And when you're sort of ready, you can start doubling them. Up 
up to you how you sort of build it up in complexity. Okay, so I hope you found that fun and useful. You can email me, robertdrumstheword.com, if you've got any questions. Don't forget to download the two pages of notation that came with this lesson for free. Again, you'll find a link beneath this video. And then you might also want to consider signing up to become an online member at my website, drumstheword.com. And what I currently offer for $97 is a full year's access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. That's over 350 famous and popular songs. And I've already got another Stone Temple pilot song up on the website. Well, unlike this lesson where I taught you the main parts, with that song I teach you every single bar from start to finish. You get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart to come with the lesson. And like I said, I've got that song plus 350 other famous and popular songs where you, you, you learn an entire song. As a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds of mini videos teaching you many, many, many famous drum beats, fills and solos. I give you three ebooks I've written over the years containing, guess what? That's right, hundreds more famous drum beats, fills and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots and lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. And if you go over to my Facebook page, on a regular basis, I ask my followers there for their song suggestions. Then they get to vote on them. And the most popular songs get chosen for future lessons. This song was suggested over there. So go to my Facebook page, type in drums as a word into Facebook or find a link beneath this video and you'll find me. And you can make your song suggestions over there. Then others get to vote on them. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumsaword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.